Hello, ballet dancers, and welcome to GBO Kids. Today we are doing a Swan Lake ballet class. I'm going to tell you the story of the beautiful Swan Princess Odette. We are also going to learn some steps from the very famous falling swan scene. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Odette, and a very mean magician cast a spell on Odette and turned her into a swan by daytime and a human or a maiden only by nighttime. Swans have to have very strong feet, just like ballerinas, so let's get down on the ground and we're going to start by warming up and strengthening our feet. Let's point one foot behind us and then we're going to get down onto our knee. We can step our knees together and swing our feet around to the front. Let's make sure we're sitting nice and tall. We're not rounding out our lower back at all. Fingertips are gently touching out to the side and our shoulders are very low. Lots of space between our shoulders and our ears. Let's point our knees straight up towards the ceiling. We're going to flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Beautiful. Now let's flex one and we're going to switch. Switch, 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 switch. Keep going. Sitting tall, not slouching at all. You're getting such beautiful ballet feet. Let's bring them both up to a flex position. And now from the tops of our legs, let's turn them out so our knees and our toes are pointed out. And we can point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Beautiful. Let's shake it out. Now we're going to come down to a lying down position and we're going to work on our turn up. I'm going to swing my legs around to the side and we can lay down. We can extend our feet out, pointing our toes. Let's bring one knee pointed up and then keeping our hips very still and our belly button is not going to move at all. We're going to turn that knee out to the side without rolling over at all. Let's bring it back up, turn it out and up. If your knee doesn't go as far down as mine, that's okay. Turn it out and up. Belly button stays perfectly still. If you're having trouble rolling over, you can also bring your hands farther out to the side to help you from rolling over. This is like our swan wing, open and shut. Beautiful, let's switch to the other side. Draw our toes gracefully up our leg. Turn it out and in. Let's do two more here. Open your swan wing, close, open, close. Beautiful, and draw your toe down your leg till they're straight again. Now we are gonna pretend that we are a swan in the water, but we're upside down. So let's bring up our knees and swans sort of swim with their webbed feet like this. We're trying to articulate through our feet, strengthening them. So we're swans paddling underwater. Beautiful paddling, keep going. And now let's Point our feet in front. Let's turn them out again, cross them over, and let's try to cross them back and forth like this, keeping your tummy muscles very strong. This is hard work. And let's release them down again. 
Let's come back up to standing. We can roll over on our side. Let's push ourselves up onto our knees. Coming up, we can step forward, turning one leg out. Let's step up to a standing position, coming back to first position. Returning to our story about Odette, there was one way for the spell to be broken, and if this was if someone promised her forever love. Luckily, there was a prince that lived nearby who had been meeting Odette during the night when she was a princess and had fallen in love with her. Prince Siegfried needed to proclaim his eternal love. So we are going to do a plie for each heart that we send to Odette. So let's look down, make sure that our feet are in our shape of a pizza slice. We're going to place our hands on our hips and we can plie, making a diamond shape. Squeeze, come back up again. Beautiful, again, plie, squeeze together, plie, Squeeze together, making sure that you're not sticking your bum out behind you. Plie, standing tall, plie, standing tall. We can add arms to this. Let's bring first position so our fingertips are just at the level of our belly button. And as we plie, we can release hearts and then back to first position. Opening up, sending hearts away. First position, beautiful. Shoulders are relaxed down our back. Knees are pointed out to the side when we plie. Down, up, beautiful, bringing our hands back to our hips. This looks very hopeful that the spell might be broken for Odette, but the mean magician has a plan. His daughter, Odile, he makes to look exactly like Odette. And when Prince Siegfried throws his grand ball to choose his wife, his daughter goes disguised as Odette. They dance together at the ball. Let's practice dancing back and forth so we can place one toe tucked behind, knees are turned out, and then we're going to point step to the side, bend, and then go up on our toe, and back down again. Point, step, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We can add arms. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. Point as your foot goes out. Last one. Beautiful dancing. Princess Odette is watching Odile and Prince Xavier dance from outside the window and she is just so upset. She runs away and she falls into the water. So we're going to learn some steps from the famous falling swan scene. The first effect that the swan does is she appears to be floating and she does this by taking tiny, tiny steps with her feet. So we are going to point one foot behind and we're going to come up on our toes with our feet crossed and turned out. We're going to lead with our back foot, taking tiny steps to the side across to make it appear like we're floating. Beautiful. Let's come back to first position. We'll try that on the other side. Point behind, come up, and then float across. Beautiful. Let's try that again. Point, plie, come up on your toes, cross behind, squeeze your legs together, and tiny, tiny steps across the stage. Beautiful. One last time, up. Beautiful floating. Another move the swan princess does, she brings her hands up to a V position, turns around to the back, and then looks straight up at the ceiling. So let's practice that. Let's go up on our toes. Let's bring our hands up to our V position. Let's turn around to the back, and then you're gonna look up at the ceiling. You can watch me this first time if you would like. Squeeze your legs together, and then look up at the ceiling. 
beautiful and then you can turn around again gracefully coming down let's do that one more time up on our toes squeezing together finding your V turning around looking up and continue Another ballet dance the falling swan does is her arabesque move. So we're going to turn and face the side. We can bring our toe up to a coupe position. Let's step, take our hands to arabesque, pulling our tummy in, standing tall. And if you can, you can lift off that back leg. Beautiful, lowering it back down again and bringing your feet in hands back to Brava. Beautiful. We can try that on the other side. Let's turn around, bringing that foot up to coupe. Let's step, arabesque, soft elbows, soft hands, turning out your legs from your hip bone, then gently lifting off that back leg, releasing it down again, bringing it back in beautiful arabesques. We're going to do our final move where the swan princess falls to the ground, but we're going to do it gracefully as a ballerina would. Let's take our hands on to our hips. We're going to point that foot behind us and let's come down onto our knee, making sure that our front foot is turned out. And then we can actually point that front foot and then sit back on to our heel. Let's gracefully take our hands up, cross at the wrists, and then we can fold forward. Beautiful. And let's come up just as gracefully. We can bring our hands out to the side, back to our hips. Let's come up and we can practice on the other side, bending our front leg, stepping to first position. We can set up for the other side. Pointing the foot, stepping back onto your knee. Front knee is turned out. And then let's point our front foot, sit back, gracefully hands up, crossing over, leaning forward, pointing your front foot. Beautiful. Open your hands up to second position, back on your hip, and we can get back up. To first position. We are going to finish up with our ballet curtsies, but before we finish up, make sure you go ask your adult to help you download the Swan Lake activity printable that I'm going to link to in the description box below. This activity is going to focus on the sound that S makes. Do you know what sound it makes? S makes the sound S, right? Can you think of any word that starts with an S? How about swan? Let's take our curtsy now. We're going to point our foot, step out to the side, tuck our foot behind, and then curtsy. We can step to the other side, step, point behind, curtsy. Beautiful curtsy, and you are a beautiful ballet dancer. Thank you so much for dancing with me. I had so much fun dancing with you today. I am going to keep putting out ballet videos and kids' workouts. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to go grab your Swan Lake activity sheet, and I will see you next time.